Hey guys, so this will be an update on my server. So I'm currently running, running the Ezrock motherboard. I will put it into the description. And I'm gonna do this in one continuous shot, most of, so I don't have to edit it this much. So on the back there's not much to see. If you saw the Tech Syndicate review, you can uh, get a complete overview of the board. So that's the chassis locator switch. Uh, then you have uh, an IPME, uh, uh, that's for the external uh, KVM. And this two is our uh, gigabit ethernet. And then you have your uh, COM port, which, which I don't use. And uh, VGA output, mainly used for troubleshooting. Here you can see I have uh, two uh, Noctuas fans, PWM. And this is a bit of my uh, airflow, uh, airflow uh, management. The, the stock uh, brackets come with a little bit of uh, holes in them. And they were messing up my airflow. They were like uh, sending my airflow. They did, like, these are also covered up. They're sending my airflow from, from here to here. Instead of taking it from the front and taking it through, through the server case. So, oh shit. So that's my managed switch. I don't really need it, but quite handy. Then you got all my IP addresses. This is the front of the server. Get a quite a good look. A small USB port which is blocked by this stupid handle. So, let's count them. 4 terabyte red. 4 terabyte red. 4 terabyte red. 4 terabyte red. So this plane is already at uh, 16 terabytes. 20 terabytes. 22 terabytes. 26 terabytes. 28 terabytes, uh, 32 terabytes, 36 terabytes, uh, 40 terabytes. This one is a uh, uh, 44 terabytes. Then. 46 terabytes, 50 terabytes already, 52, 56, 56, 58, 62, 64. 64, 64, 66 terabytes. 68 terabytes. 70 terabytes. 72 terabytes. And that's empty. 72 terabytes in total. So uh, that can count. Let's open this beast up and let's see it from the inside. To open it up you need a screwdriver of course. A few screws. Up on the top here. If my camera has something to focus on, let it focus on this. So, what a mess. That's the inside of my setup. Almost lost my camera there. So let's take a look. Maybe if I can use my iPhone to light it a bit up. 
Wherever we go, I go. So, you can see my adapter card here. Put it in the description. I think it's a 31205. Then you have the Noctua, uh, Noctua fans. The HX850. Then the Everton board is just somewhere around here. If you can see it, it's a bit blurry. So that's that. Also, my boot drive is actually here. That's my boot drive. And then you got the array, the total mess over here. I actually got a Google Doc, which every drive is uh, is uh, is labeled where it is in the uh, in the array, and so so I don't have any problems with that. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the server tour. Also, why not hear it start up? It's always interesting. So. As you can hear, it's quite silent. In the summer I can get it cool down the drives at 40 degrees, uh, 44, uh, no, let's say, at the summer I can get the drives um, cool down to 38, when they are in load 42, so that's a bit too hot, but I don't mind. Um, but in the winter I can even spin, spin this down because the ambient temps are much much lower. So there you go. The so now it's in initiate, in initiating, in initializing every drive now. So I think it's doing the night rider thing now. So I think it's going to uh to wake up any moment. The drives. And this this LED is a bit faulty. So it it it's still is illuminated but it's really badly visible. So now it's checking all the drives. And we're booting up in any moment now. You can see there is my boot drive. It will kick into life when uh, when the controller is done with every every uh, checking every drive. It's still checking every drive now, and there it goes. Now it's booting into Windows, or it's beginning to boot. I think I guess yeah. Now now it's going yeah. So this is my OS drive. It's still <laughs> an Itachi uh, 320 gigs that has over uh, 50 uh, or. Uh, I think four years on time completely, more than 900 days continuous working and it still doesn't have any bad sectors on it and it gets really hot this drive, this drive has no cooling. This slot is for the cooling for my uh, for my uh, adaptive rate card so it get, can get some airflow from here to here. Hope you enjoyed it guys, please like, subscribe and comment. Uh, next up I'm gonna do my little home server. So I hope you find this very inter found this very interesting. I hope you found this very interesting and I hope you subscribe or like this video. It's something different than my uh, car videos I do a lot now but
Thanks for watching. Bye.